Hello guys, welcome to my class. Today we are gonna design and analyze matte foundation with Stat Pro Advanced Foundation. Matte foundation is very complex design. Okay, so let's start. Here is a model which I have previously analyzed. After analyzing the model, go to foundation design, select the generate load cases and include the load, then run stat foundation advance. Mat foundation is only designed with stat foundation advance. Okay. After opening the model, we have to create a new job. For that, go to job setup, create a new job, give a job name, mat foundation. Job type is mat, design code US, English, design code SEI 31805 and support assigned to all support. Now, available load cases are generated load, load case select all the load and select create job now here mat foundation job has been created you can expand this parameter okay so at first we have to create a mesh for the mat foundation now here is the add meshing re region using polyline if there is a irregular line we have to create the mesh with using polyline then add rectangular region for me this is the rectangle see we are going to use add rectangle and if there is a circle region add circle region and regular polygon okay now select add rectangular region unit fit x coordinate and z coordinate now this is the x coordinate and this is the z coordinate see now e5 now and the length and the width this length is 26.2 feet and center to center this is the center to center length distance and width is 32.8 Fit center to center distance. Okay. Now, if I put zero zero coordinate and after definition the put the value at region. Now you can see put the top view. The region has created to center of the column. This center at the column to this center of the column, but the mesh is not like that mesh is created with the outer side of the column or you can say the end of the column not the center to center so i have to delete the region for that select the region press delete from your keyboard then yes and again okay now what you have to do we know the column dimension that is 1.6 feet so on the x coordinate we do minus 1.6 on the z coordinate is similarly 1.6 and the length will be added with twice of the x coordinate that is 29.4 and 36 okay now click on add region and you can see the mesh is around the column after finishing the region go to meshing setup meshing setup okay now i have to create a boundary for boundary or hole or control region now this is the boundary so select 
the boundary give identificator name boundary click on add now boundary has been created now select boundary and click on generate mesh and also you can click optimize based on area if it is triangular mesh you can see for triangular mesh only okay and the target maximum depth is 12 inch then click after finishing putting the value click on generate mesh and here is the meshing option quadrilateral meshing this is the quadrilateral meshing you can see mixed quad and triangular meshing there is triangular and mixed quad then we have to use mixed quad and triangular meshing and for triangle you used triangle meshing okay and if you want to create a node at the column at support position you have to click on this optimize level bigger optimization level will help to design more specifically okay but it'll, it will take more time and internal node spacing factor 10 let it 10 okay now you this is the quadrilateral machine so select quadrilateral machine and click on ok now here is the machine after finishing that go to slab thickness change unit to inch now let give a depth 14 inch for analyzing thickness and design thickness okay after finishing that go to soil property now including soil spring use soil and if there is soil above the mat foundation you have to give the height in this portion okay after finishing that go to default properties and you can see the slab analyze thickness subgrade modulus soil property all the thing now the spiral spring value let it value is zero okay now if there is pile below the column then we have to go to the pile position table for creating pile on the below of the mat foundation okay you can enter the coordinate of the pile or you can go to the rectangle file arrangement okay you need number of rows number of column you have to put the all the value row spacing and column spacing now if it is a circular for that go to circular pile arrangement and input the value okay now after finishing that you have to analyze it so click on analyze do you want to analyze the design yes and click yes it may take a second now the analyze has been completed now, this is how you analyze a mat foundation now in the next video we are going to design the foundation mat foundation okay so if you have any problem comment on the video okay or you can mail me that's it so thank you for watching my video